penalty, as everyone knows, it can go either way. Um, I mean, obviously for those who watched the game, obviously the highlights, it could have gone either way. Both had chances, they could have buried. Um, they were better than us in the first half. We were, we came on strong in the second half. So um, it could have gone either way. And sometimes there's luck of the draw, isn't it? Um, you, you can lose on penalties, you know, it's, it's just about obviously who holds their nerve and, you know, it's sometimes guessing the, the right way. But um, look, we, we take the second half performance um, and into next week because that's what we were really about, what we have been over the last few weeks. Um, we'll be slightly disappointed in the first half as it took us a bit too long to kind of get into gear. But once we once we got there, you know, we really put it on them and could have won it, as we said. They want to play, we want to play as well, to be honest with you. So um, we, we, we played on enough 4G before. It's a, it's a wide pitch. Um, at first, we thought the win was going to be a factor, but funny enough, the win sort of disappeared midway through the first half because um, we played it um, against the wind. But um, yeah, it, it's, 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 it could have gone either way. Like I said, I mean, we've got ball players, we like, we've got ball carriers, and so do they. So um, it's just, yeah, it's just really, it's, just, it's a flick of a coin who was going to win it. And obviously, they held a nerve in a penalty shootout because it, remember it went um, on to sudden death as well so you know um, it's, these things happen. The game plan was we usually when we play against obviously North West London we sort of contain and then hit on the counter um, but um, obviously the game plan sort of goes goes awry sort of when you can make a, a bit of an error it was it sort of I think it deflected off Taff and you know and these things it can either go that way or that way and it went into the strikers path and he was able to go around um, Taff sorry go around um, Jack. Um, the second one, I didn't really see much of it. It seemed like a bit of play of them. There was an overload. They were in um, and they were able to bury it. So we just changed it. We changed the second half. Um, you know, we said we squeezed higher. You know, we have to, you know, we've got nothing to lose. Um, Samba coming on makes a big difference um, with the tempo that he gives us. Um, and then we was able to start creating chances because Lewis was always a threat first half. Um, so if we got him more on the ball, we knew we was going to get in. Um, Sherman coming on again is obviously he's another big threat. So we started to push on to them, and then you know the momentum was with us up until sort of the 90th minute. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, penalties, you know. It's, it's a bit frustrating, but you know we go on to next. So we've got two semi-finals coming up. Um, obviously, people are kind of well aware of the situation leading up to the game, and obviously we, we just want to make sort of things clear in terms of obviously our stance because um, you know we've been in this league what about nearly for four years now, um, and obviously we will never have, have an issue in terms of paying for uh, away games because you know we understand our position in terms of being privileged we've got fans we've got members that pay so i mean historically you know you can you can check our record we never sort of you know complain or have a, a gripe in terms of people want to have their sort of one sort of payday you know as as a community club it's, we feel it's our job to help out other community clubs but obviously when we feel their prices are extortionate or not at any sort of sort of level in comparison to you know the level that we're playing at obviously the we're going to make a stance and that was obviously leading to the boycott today um it's, it's a bit obviously it's a bit of a weird one for myself in terms of obviously north west london because generally we've had a good relationship with them um in terms of obviously they set up the mini league that we just played in um we've often had friendlies pre-season friendlies so um it's a bit of a weird one you know but we that's just our stance on it you know we're not really going to be here for any sort of exploitation or or anything trying to make a quick buck you know fair is fair we'll pay what the what the sort of market rate is for any sort of fans coming through the gate but um, anything above that you know we're gonna our stances and if everyone knows our history the foundations of our club was based on, on a boycott at the old Clapton so uh, anything similar we're gonna you know we're gonna dig our trenches in and we're not gonna have it